Good morning everybody and welcome back. So the girls are inside. You can see that they're eating a nice first crop bale. They're not really enjoying it too much, but they don't usually like first crop dry bales all that well. Um, but I like to think of it kind of like, like a person eating like brand cereal. Like it's really good for you, but it's not really that tasty. So they are eating it, but they're not like super enthusiastic about it. It's just something to eat to them, but they will be getting a wrapped bale later on, which they do enjoy much more. So they'll be happy when I go around with that later. They actually did stay inside last night. Um, that was a weird noise. They actually did stay inside last night, and the reason for that is, you guys can probably tell, it's extremely gloomy out. It rained really hard last night. Um, it poured, absolutely poured. It's weird looking out right now because it's early, but it's kind of weirdly light and clear out, even though it's still drizzling. So it was a little bit on the cooler side. It was in the 40s and it was raining really hard so we just didn't want them to go out in the free stalls we were afraid that they'd go stand out on the pad because sometimes they do that they'll just go out and instead of standing in the free stall they'll go stand out in the pad in the rain and the wind and it's just not good for them to be out there like that so we just thought we'd leave them inside since it was nice and cozy and toasty in the barn and they weren't upset about it they enjoyed being inside they were tired from being outside all day so they all just kind of laid down and relaxed um so anyway getting right into it like i said it's pretty nasty so we're probably not going to be doing much. Originally, our plans for today were that we were going to pick up some of the fields, some of the plastic that come off the wrap bales that when we keep them out in the field, that falls off some of that stray wrap from the bales and pick up some sticks and just clean up. But obviously we can't do that now because it's rained so much that we won't even be able to get the tractor out in the field without making a horrible mess. So this is also kind of set back our manure spreading. Um, probably we're not going to be getting spreading until I'd say very, very late this month or possibly early May, which kind of sucks because I was really excited to get out and do that because the grass is growing pretty good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how green the pasture is and how green this lawn is right here, but it's really greening up nice. So when the sun does come out eventually, it's just going to shoot right up. So I was excited because the fields were getting pretty dry, but now it's not going to happen in a while. So anyway. I did have something exciting I wanted to show you guys before we get into milking. We had another Normandy heifer born last night. Um, she's, oh, she's gone. I feel like every time I tell you guys that we have a new calf, it just disappears. But she really is gone. All right, so she escaped. I was a baby, where would I go? All right, so here she is. Um, so this is her. You could tell she's got some crooked legs, but hopefully they'll straighten out when she gets older. She is a cutie. She's most definitely a Normandy. She's got horns. Um, so I'm going to carry her back into that pen. She's wild, apparently. All right, so anyway, um, since she's right up here, I'll show you her mother. This is her mom. Assuming she's either a Devon Jersey Cross or a Shorthorn Jersey Cross. My guess would probably be a Shorthorn Jersey Cross. So that calf is going to be a Shorthorn Jersey Normandy Cross. So it should be a pretty good cow. Um, we're gonna end up with a lot of strange crosses from this, but hopefully her legs straighten out. In the first week or so, they usually do, so she'll probably straighten out real good. Um, I believe Brent said her name is Hazel. So little Hazel, we are planning on keeping her. Um, and a lot of you guys had asked you know, if we were keeping Coco, the little calf that I showed you guys. Um, and absolutely, we are keeping Coco and we plan on keeping Hazel as well. Um, however, we only plan on keeping around three calves. And we do have one cow that we already know has a heifer because the vet told us when he preg checked her that she was going to have a heifer. And we do want to keep her. So probably we are going to be getting rid of April, um, which is really sad. I really like her and I really wanted to keep her. But... Um, out of all the ones we have, she is the least dairy looking. She looks the most like a Normandy. And since Normandies are dual purpose, they're not extremely high producing cows. So we didn't really want to keep any that were like super Normandy looking. We wanted to keep the more dairy looking ones like her and Coco. So if we do have another heifer like we're supposed to from our really good cow that we do want to keep, then um, we probably will be getting rid of April um, because she's just not really what we're looking for in a dairy cross that we want to keep so it's sad but I guess that's just the way it goes because we don't have a lot of room to really raise 
um, five or six replacement heifers. Maybe April will get to stay if we don't end up having more heifers, but I just wanted to let you guys know that maybe she won't be staying. So, a little escape artist laid down, so. Um, I can take you guys up and tell you what we were actually gonna be doing today, so. I feel like I'm always walking by a fan. So since it's supposed to be nasty and rainy all day long, we're not gonna be letting the girls out. We're just gonna keep them inside today because honestly, they're just as well off inside um, as they would be outside going out and wandering around in the nasty weather. So since we're keeping them inside, we are gonna finish bedding the other side of the freestall, which I probably won't film any of that because we saw that whole process being done, but I will show you guys what it looks like when we're done both sides. Um, Brent is going to be cleaning out the freestall as well. He cleaned it out yesterday, but you guys can see that it's pretty wet and gross already, so he will be cleaning that out again. They did start using the stalls, which is really exciting. I went out the other day and I think there were like 10 of them in those stalls. They just looked so comfortable. They were laying there with their eyes closed and they were chewing their cud. And they just looked like super content, so I'm super happy that they are using those stalls finally. And I can't wait to get the other side done because I think it's going to look really, really great. And then we can bed it, like I said before, with some sawdust, and then they'll really start using them really, really well. So since Brent is going to be cleaning out the freestall, I figured I would clean out the pen that this bull was in. You guys can see it's really gross. Um, as he got bigger, he started getting really, really disgusting, and he started tipping his water over and making a horrible mess. He would pull all his hay in, and he wouldn't eat it. And then he would dump his water onto it, and it was just really, really a mess. He started pulling down his little tarp there that he still went behind, so he is finally out of here. And clean this out since Brent is going to be pushing all this outside to clean out anyway. There's the Jersey heifer looking at us, wondering what we're doing. Um, so Brent can push it out. I'm going to clean this out, and I do have to hurry because Brent is getting coffee, and then we're supposed to start milking. Um, which I also may film a little bit of that for you guys because I haven't done that in quite a while and a lot of you guys do enjoy watching milking so I'll try to film some of that for you guys today but I'm not sure how it's going to work out because I'm supposed to be cleaning this pen but I'm explaining it to you guys so I'm kind of wasting time. I'm going to finish cleaning this out, bed it really good and then the plan is to put cocoa in here for now so that I can put hazel in cocoa's pen. That is what I'm doing right now. But right now all I have is this little fork because I forgot to bring my shovel up. If you guys are watching in my videos, I forget pretty much everything. It's a miracle that I can even make it to work on my own. Alright. So that's probably all I can get with this pitchfork. Um, but you guys can see what I mean. He just made a horrible mess with his water. He spilt it every time I filled it. Um, except the last time. He didn't spill it the last time, so it's still got nice fresh clean water in it. If you guys were wondering why there's a hole right here, it was because these spaces up here, the high spaces, used to be stalls. So they were little calf stalls. I'm not really sure how many there were. Probably not a lot because it's quite a small area. This area right here was supposed to be, there's a door right there that goes out to the free stall. It would just scoop the poop behind the cow and scoop it up, take it out of the freestall and dump it out in the pit. So it does not work really well now because it's just awkward because the calves have to just like jump over this little pit or just lay in the pit. I always bed it really well so they can just lay in it, but it's still kind of strange. So Brent was talking about maybe filling it in and just making this one giant area. So it would be easier to clean out and also the calves wouldn't have to have this weird little pit here, which they don't mind. They like using it, but it just seems kind of odd. Um, so you can see we do have rubber mats here on top of the concrete just so it's more comfortable for the cows if they want to lay up here as well. Um, so anyway, got to go take a coffee break. We'll catch up with Brent and see if maybe he has some other things planned that he wants to do today. Um, not really sure. He did say a couple things that I already told you guys, but maybe he's changed the plans. Who knows? So we'll get down there and we'll have some coffee and find out. Hi. Morning. So, what are the plans for today? Finish a trip to the barn and take a nap. Take a nap? Yeah. I don't think that pencils into a full day. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah, it is only like, what, 45? We got 18 inches of snow in Wisconsin. Jeez. Or coming or something. That stinks. Good place for it. <laughs> well, that's not very nice for the people in Wisconsin. So, uh, that's all you got planned? Maybe pick up some bales. Pick up some bales? Yep. That sounds good. It's time to get into milking.
worst part is she gets a scab on it. Yeah. I know, honey. Good girl. off the last cow. Brent ran up with the loader to grab a wrapped bale for the girl because as you can hear they are starving to death. So here he comes with that. I've got to get in and run that wash and then go around with the bale and I'll get back to you guys when we start in on the rest of our day. A dry bale out for the bull and the heifers. bedded the girls, gave them that wrapped bale. They're just finishing up that. Some of them are laying down already. Shut this gate here. So you can see Brent has the truck backed up and he dumped that other load of chips. So I do have to rake those stalls after he gets done filling them. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna finish cleaning this stall. We finally got this side done. It looks really good, I think. Um, it's very high, but it was 
lower on this side than it was on that side, so we put more in it. But I think it looks really nice. I'm really excited to see what the girls think of it tonight. Um, I did level off this side again, which looks really good. You can see it did pack down pretty good. Um, Brent just went along and put some of the extra chips that we had in there um, to fill some of the holes that they had made. But it looks really, really nice, I think. I'm super glad to see it like this. I think the girls will be happy. We didn't clean out the freestall because Brent didn't really feel like it needed to be cleaned out. It's not that dirty. Um, most of it is just chips on the floor and sawdust that got wet um, from that nasty, moistery weather that we had. Moistery, I'm pretty sure is not a word, so. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks really nice. I'm really excited to get the girls out tonight. They won't be going out today because it's like 12 o'clock right now and we just finished. Um, so I'm gonna go home and have some lunch. I did get Coco into that pen. And she's, right now she is headbutting the sawdust, showing it who's boss. Hi, what do you think of your new pen? Do you like it? You say bye to everybody. Say bye. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes. So she's super excited to be in her new pen. Um, she's enjoying running around, stretching her little legs. We'll wait a few days and we'll probably put Hazel in there with Coco if April's already gone because um, Coco is pretty young so there won't be a huge age difference between them. We usually don't have trouble with calves sucking on each other because they're bottle babies right from the start. I'm going to go home and relax for a while because raking those stalls was hard, hard work. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.